Okay, this is a networking lesson on using the EFW Indian firewall. And to do this video, what I'm doing is I'm going to do it all through virtual machines running off of my desktop. So I'm running Windows 7 on my desktop. And for these virtual machines, what I've got is I've opened up VirtualBox. And you can see here's the VirtualBox manager. And I'm running Indian firewall 2.4.1. And you can see it's running right here. And I'm also running a virtual machine of Windows XP. And you can see both of them are actually running right here. And what we'll do is we'll take a quick peek at them. Here is the Indian firewall running. And when you look at it, let's see if we can wake it up, this is what you'll see, right? So when it's running, all you see is this command line non-graphical interface that tells you um, a little bit about it. It tells you that the management URL is 192.168.0.1 on port 10443. So that's how you'll connect to this firewall and manage this firewall. Well that's the main thing that it tells you. That the green zone or the green IP which means the local area network on this firewall is 192.168.0 zero network and then you can use these other uh, you can put in a choice with zero one two three four if you want to reboot it or change the root password or the admin password now you're gonna need the admin password to manage this firewall router right and you can download this from the EFW or Endian firewall website so I'm running 2.4.1 here Endian firewall you can see it right there okay so I'll put this on the side there's our firewall. And then in another window, let me see if I can bring it up here. I've got a Windows XP client. And you can see it right here. Here's my virtual machine for Windows XP. And I've actually connected to the um, Indian firewall, but I'm going to close that and we'll just we'll we'll do that in a second. So close that. So here's my Windows XP virtual machine. Right? Now I'm gonna set this up so that you can see how these two are going to communicate. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to virtually have this XP client behind this Indian firewall router. And so what I've done is I've got a, um, let's see here, I've got a packet tracer open here to show you the design of this network that I've set up. So here's uh, my internet connection. Here's my Linksys wireless router. This is my actual Linksys wireless router that I'm getting the internet access from right now. Then here is my Windows 7 laptop. This is my actual computer that we're talking about here. So we'll say here, and this is Windows 7. Okay, so this is my actual computer that I'm running right here. And what I'll do is, is I'll open up a command prompt and what we'll do is we'll find out what's our IP address. So I'll do IP config and we'll see that the IP address, the wireless IP address on this is 192.168.1.130. Okay? So my laptop here has the IP address 192.168.1.130. There we go. And then my that means that my router must be on the LAN side. My router must be 192.168.1.1, right? So that's how we reach the the router, right? 1.1. Now, in the I'll put this here, actual computer and the IP address. Okay. Now, inside of this Windows 7, my actual laptop, I've got these virtual machines running. And so I put yellow box around them to signify that these are virtual box virtual machines. And we have two that I showed you already. We've got the Indian firewall and we have the Windows XP. And I put VM in front of them to signify that they are virtual machines. So what's interesting about this is we need to next talk about their NICs, right? Their network interface cards. Well, we know that the wireless Windows 7 machine, and I put a connection here, a wired connection, but it's in fact connecting wirelessly. So let's just pretend that it's wired and that its address is 192.168.1.130. So what we want to do is we want to find out 
what are the addresses of the NICs on these virtual machines. And something interesting here, and that is that the EFW wireless router needs a basically a WAN side, right? A WAN side, which is called the red zone, right? And it's going to have a LAN side or local area network side, which is called the green zone, right? So it has two NICs. And what we want to do is we want to find out its IP addresses. Now, we've already seen that on the LAN side, its IP address is 192.168.0.1. So we'll put that here. Right? 192.168.0.1. Right? And we don't know what its WAN address is, but the way I've set it up, I've set it up so that its NIC here gets an IP address from the Linksys wireless router the same way as my Windows 7 machine did. And how do you do that? You do that by making sure that when you set up your virtual machine, the EFW, you give it what's called a bridged network adapter, right? So you want to give it a bridge network adapter. And if you give it a bridge network adapter, it'll pick up an IP address just, just like your actual computer does from the network. So if we go here, we take this guy, and there's my wireless router. Let's hover over the NICs here and see if maybe we can pick it up. So I'll go put my cursor over here. And you can see here that I've got two NICs, internal network and bridge network adapter and both cables are connected. It's not telling me the address, but that's okay. So in other words, if you were to go to devices, network adapters, I had to activate two network adapters. One on the internal network, and two, this one, on the bridged adapter. Right, so there's that bridged adapter. Here's my settings, and here's the internal network adapter. So let's go, let's put that right here. So we'll put that here. So we'll say, this one's been set to bridged, and this one has been set to internal, right? And of course, that is the setting on the VMware machine. All right, so internal, and then there's the address. Pull that down. And so now we need to find out what the bridged adapter is. Now, for the XP client to communicate with the Indian firewall on this other network. Notice 192.168.0 is different than the 192.168.1 network that the Windows 7 machine is on, 192.168.1, 192.168.1.1, and this is the router is on a separate network, 192.168.0.1. And so to, to have the XP client be on that work, network, what I also did was set its neck to be on the internal network. So let's take a look at that, right? So we'll go to the XP client. Let's see here, XP client. And you'll see that the NIC here, I'm just hovering over it, you can see that it says, and maybe if we scroll up a little bit, you can see it easier. It says internal, right? And it says that its number is 0.148. And we can see here that what I did was control panel, network connections. I set, and which one was it? It was number adapter 2. Okay, adapter 2, this one. Properties, protocol. And you can see I set it to automatically pick up an IP address, and it's picked up an IP address from the EFW firewall router. So I set it to pick up automatically. Notice devices, network adapters, internal, right? So I set it to be DHCP or automatic, once again, properties, TCP IP, properties, automatically, automatically, right? And it's picked up an IP address from the EFW. We'll do a quick IP config and you can see that the address it picked up is 192.168.0.148. So we can fill that out. So we can say he's picked up an address, 
192.168.0.148. Right? And what's neat about that is that it got this address from the EFW wireless router, right? So this wireless router is running a DHCP server and it handed out this address to our internal client. And so so the last thing to figure out is what about the address for this um, EFW machine? And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to manage this EFW firewall router from our Windows XP client. Okay, so let's do that. 